Mario and Luigi, the things you two get stuck in because of Miss Stollard and Miss Fory just makes me feel so sorry for you. What Diego said, Mario and Luigi, you deserve so much better. Thanks, Diego and Chris, and we agree with you, Ms. Stallard and Ms. Fory are nothing but torturous. You said it, Mario. Gladys should definitely fire them, because they're really bad teachers who treat Mario and Luigi like slaves on a daily basis. Indeed, Simba. Now that I think about it, I wouldn't be surprised if Dorothy's Bornak treated her students the same exact way. Well, hello Dorothy. Did you have a fine day at work today? I sure did, girls. I'm sure you'll be happy to know that I had to enter bootleg mode and go gangster on one of my students again today. Don't tell me you had to give Ralphie Parker a spanking for eating a whole chocolate cake during class, because if you did, he's the fifth kid with glasses this week. No, Ma, it wasn't Ralphie Parker this time. It was instead another kid who I firmly believe is a little too popular for my liking. It turns out that the kid I had to get onto today was Kevin McAllister. Oh, you got onto Kevin McAllister at school today? Well, Dorothy, if you don't mind us asking, what exactly did he do that caused you to give him a torturous treatment? Did he cheat on a quiz, or did he get into a fight with one of his classmates? No Rose, I became his torturer because he asked me what would happen if a bottle of cold medicine got kicked in the groin, and he also asked me what would happen if a clown and the Easter Bunny tried to order food at the drive-thru. That's not the best part though. I had to toss Kevin out of the classroom window today because not only was he late for school for the 20th time this year, but also because he chose to finish his leftover assignments from yesterday instead of focusing on today's subjects. And as it turns out, my students are learning about the birds and the bees this week. Today, I taught them about where babies come from. The whole class was rolling on the floor laughing out loud. Gee pussy cat, I never knew you'd turn out to be quite the torturer of the entire school. I bet, if the news finds out about it, Kevin will become the laughing stock of town. That applies likewise to you, as well, because like I said to you before, you're the biggest disappointment, to hit the streets since the AMC pacer. Imagine how awkward it would be if Dorothy literally told her students at school about the birds and the bees. I know. Right, Simba? It would sound almost as awkward as the night you and I had fun in the shower together. Wait a second. Simba and Diego, when did you guys take a shower together?